they come to apologise? Oh, yeah. It's just a little domestic time we've all moved on. I'm not saying that. Do you know what hurt the most? More than the slander, more than the insinuations. No. Oh. It was the way they dropped me like a hot brick. Turned against me in seconds. I know. If I'm such a great friend, why not give me the benefit of the doubt? And now they think they can just click the fingers and everything goes back to normal. Well, no. It's just still a bit raw. Deep. Not raw, deep. This will never go away. It's just sometimes when something happens to one of your kids where you just lash out. Straight at your friend slash nanny. More one than the other, I think. Don't you defend him, Ashley. Don't you dare defend them. I'm not. I'm just trying to help you. I'll only be able to put this behind me when we move. Claire! If we move. When we move. Right. Ooh. How do I look then? Nothing like it. He's right, Becky. You might as well put a false beard and specs you on. You can't go through with this. I won't let you. Try and stop him, man. Look, impersonating your sister at a family court, you're going to get rumbled in seconds. Not necessarily. Besides, there might be someone down there who recognises you. You're looking idiot. I'm off to court, so are you taking me or what? Pack. One more, go on. You'll get me shot. Do something, Steve. Yeah, look, look, okay. Say you do get away with it, then what? We just get Max home, right? Because by then Carly will be back. Say she doesn't show up. Well, she's got to show up sooner or later. Look, she knows what today is. If she's not here, it's because she don't want to be here. She wants to be a good mum deep down. She just needs a bit of help. How's she going to look after him, day in, day out, if she can't even get herself to call? Two halves of bitter, please. Uh, I'll go. So have you got a better idea then, Steve? Apart from your do no, let her lose her son for good. Becky, listen, I think it's great that you're standing by her, OK? But this is going too far. I know. I know, I just... I'm going to throttle her when I get my hands on her. Where is she, Steve? She was Gary Wendas a couple of hours ago. Gary? Very cosy they were. Oh, I? I'm not the criminal court. A little boy is in care. Sorry, um, little boy. And today the court decide whether or not he should stay there. Oh, too much info, Bex. Uh, not enough info, Kylie. I'm not planning on having any more if that's what you're worried about. God, they can't see you now. Just on me way. Shut up. You're already late. You've got more important things on your mind. You're making me feel guilty for having a bit of fun. I thought you were lying at the bottom of a ditch. Oh, man, you are one selfish cow. She had my top on. I thought you and Leanna kissed and made up. We have, sort of. That's some of the things she said. In the heat of the moment. I just think that maybe she's not such a great friend after all. It's been awful for everyone, but now it's time to move on. Hey, Claire is back at work. All is well with the world. Don't you believe it? I can't wait to get away from this dump. I'll give over. I mean it. Me and Ashley are moving. Don't worry, I'll serve me notice. You were saying? Anyway, I'd just finished giving the doormat a good pummeling, oh. imagining it was the intruder, and as I stripped the bed, I found this on the pillow. What, 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 what's this? Look inside. It appears the perpetrator of my burglary is a redhead. Oh. Well, I can vouch for Rita. She was here all day. <laughs> I know it wasn't Rita, and I've ruled out Mick Hucknall and Chris Evans, too. Who? International pop star and Radio 2 DJ. Oh, never mind. All I'm saying is, is that it narrows down the field. Well, have you shown that to the uh, scene of crimes officer? Oh, him. He made it perfectly clear he has far more important things to do than tracking down criminals. And if I want them to take further action, I have to take the motorhome into the 
police vehicle clinic. The plateau, ten weeks, mommy, ten weeks. Besides, this hair has to be matched to the DNA and the suspect, which I believe is a costly exercise. Well, I, I thought these uh, recent scientific breakthroughs were supposed to make solving crimes easier. I mean, you should be able to hand that into the police, and 30 seconds later, they pull up a three-dimensional image of your burglar. This isn't about retribution, Norris. I just want closure, and I'll only get it when I find out who violated my home. Well, there is a very obvious suspect, eh? A certain carrot-headed jailbird who lives not but ten yards from this very shop. Yes, I know I shouldn't jump to conclusions, but he is a more likely candidate than Mick Hucknall. Look, it slipped my mind, I admit. How can a court case slip your mind? You obviously haven't been to as many as I have. Uh. Come on, I'm always being dragged off to case conferences and meetings. Oh, so buy a flaming file of facts then. Anyway, this isn't just any old meeting. This is the biggie. This is the one that we've been waiting for. Yeah, but Soldier Boy is fit as. <laughs> Do you not want your son back? No, I don't. There, I've said it. Oh my God. I can't believe you just... Well, thank God Max can't hear you disown him. Love him. Of course I do. I love him to bits. <sighs> yeah. I'm a useless mother, Bex. Useless, selfish. And he'd be better off without me. You're a lifesaver! We aim to please! Oh. <laughs> you got a woman up there? Yeah, I wish. Back rub the other week. Doing my paperwork is like painting the fourth bridge look. Yeah, well, uh, I can't help now, but how about tomorrow night when I've finished my shift at streetcars? Well, you don't mind working at night? <laughs> it doesn't look like I've got much choice, does it? <laughs> Hello. Speaking, yeah. Not again. Look, do you want me to come in? It's a problem. When? I know why you're saying all this. Because it's true. Because you're scared. I know when the court hearing is. I deliberately made myself scarce. Getting drunk, copping off, it's what I do. But you said that you wanted him back. I couldn't admit my failure as a mother. Well, you're not. You're not. You've just had a bit of bad luck, that's all. Plenty of people have a rough time. Doesn't mean their kids end up in care. Well, people can change then. Look at me. There ain't no fairy godmother gonna save me. Well, what am I then? People have helped me. Now, I'm gonna help you. Listen. Listen, I need you to look me in the eye now and I need you to tell me straight. Do you want Max? Yes or no? Of course I do. Good. You sure? Yeah. Right. And you love him. You just said that you love him. More than anything in the world. Well, good. Good, because all the rest we can work on. You know, I used to trash places every time I didn't get my own way, and I used to take drugs when I felt depressed. You, we're all works in progress, love. And you shouldn't just accept your lot. Not when you've got your family around you to help you. Bex, I'm really glad you came and found me. Well, let's just save all that sopping stuff, because we've got to be in court in 20 minutes. <laughs> May it please your honour, this is Weatherfield County Council's application for a care order in relation to Max Turner, born September the 5th, 2006, who currently resides with foster carers under an interim care order dated May the 12th, 2009. The mother, Kylie Turner, opposes the care order but is not present at today's proceedings. Do you know where your client is? I'm afraid not, your honour. The local authority submits that Miss Turner has had ample notice of today's proceedings and respectfully requests that the case proceed in her absence. Very well, proceed. In the bundle before you, Your Honour, you will find a statement from the social... <laughs> Sorry, we're late. <laughs> Thank you. Right, it's got some... Somewhat. Red salsa, down not it? Ah. Yeah, don't 
said, all I'm saying is, he's got form. I mean, he burgled Audrey's house, and it comes from a family of undesirables. I know, but what's that saying about giving a dog a bad name? The dog in question has already got a bad name because he's done some very bad things. Suspect has entered the building. <sighs> Can we go somewhere else? No way. I'm this close to cracking the model. Yeah, as if. What are you having anyway? <sighs> I'll have a cider. Have you given that loopy bird the body swirl? Oh, don't, mate. She's a complete mare, honestly. <laughs> Sorry I missed you last night. It's your loss. I thought it was just a, a casual invite. It was? So I called then, yeah? As ice. Hey, listen, you don't understand. I just needed to let off steam. You know, have a blowout. One final fling before... Spoken like a true squaddy. There you go. Vodka and cranberry. <laughs> the cranberry offsets the vodka. Offsets? Yeah, you know, like global warming. You're well informed for a model. Well, we're not all for cows, you know. I just go to work home. The Weatherfield equivalent of Eaton. Oh, brains as well as beauty. I like it. Hey, you haven't seen our Katie about, have you? Why? What's happened? Not in around. No, but there will be an appropriate amount of shouting and screaming while I do catch up with her. I won't ask by. She's been booking off school, and it's not for the first time either. I'd read the phone ring in case it's a school bobby. Oh, I know how that feels. But the worst culprit in our family for that has now got his own pub and a minicab firm. <laughs> You're saying I should stop worrying about it? Well, I just think sometimes if you come down too hard on kids, it just makes them more detained. Do you know what? You, you should have your own telly programme. Invite families like ours on to sort their problems. You could call it Liz. <laughs> we all make the same mistakes. Mm. Hey, well, thanks for the advice. Anytime. Hey. Why don't I take you out one night? I don't know, by way of a thank you. Yeah. Okay. I'd like that. I'll uh, be in touch then. Hello, Mr. McKinley. Yeah, yeah, hello. It's clear that Max and his mother have a strong bond. Kylie also now has a stable job and home, thanks to the intervention of her sister, Mrs. Rebecca MacDonald. Oh, that's me. Would you like to address the court, Mrs. MacDonald? Um, yeah, all right then. Just to say that uh, if you do let Max come and live with us, then he won't want for anything, especially love. Can I say something? By all means, yes. Only. I know I've made a few mistakes in the past. Wouldn't be here if I hadn't. But I feel that I've turned a corner. Thanks to this one. But she's a top sis. We lost touch, you see, and she came looking for me. It changed my life. And I don't just mean because she put a roof over my head. She's made me realise that I've got to change. And I will. I'll make her proud. I'll make you all proud. Ah, oh, here she is. Yeah, go on. Got him. Yeah, Excuse really me, please. Well in your Excuse job. me. <laughs> Watch it. Chippy cripple. What do you call me? Oh, he's big man. We'll say that again. Just leave it, Gary. Hey, you 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 was needed. Who do you think you are? OK, I'm sorry. Is that what you wanted? Don't you start on me, mate. Or else what? All right, that's enough for you. Out. What? Come on, do as she says. Match your prat. Yeah. I meant you. Me? You couldn't do it as a meat and tatty pie, could you? What, no grain today? Probably knife skills. Can't you teach them that yourself? <laughs> no one can all the cats teach him. But we have to try. He's not really cut out for the truth be told. You let him go then when you move. Move? Are you sensitive about moving? Claire just handed in a notice. Yeah, well, she was upset about what happened. A bear, but I mean, you know, can't you talk around? You're nice people. She's great on switch. Yeah, well, I'm hoping so. It's 160, please, mate. Okay, there you go. So, See you later. See ya. Bad pants, please, art face. Working? You missed the bingo. You never missed the bingo. Oh, I'm hoping to get lucky in other ways. All right. Do tell. Well, I'm going to take a bottle of wine with me, you know, all work and no play. Mm -hmm. You got him? Oh! George in the court said, take him home! Oh, take, take him home! home. Take him home! Oh. He's going to live with us from now on, ain't you? Yeah. <laughs> Where's Stevie? 
the shot of drivers. He had to go to work. Oh. Hello. All right, well, let's not keep him down here. Let's get him upstairs and settled. Yeah. Hold on. What we just did? We took on social services and work. I know! We have got to celebrate. Come on, yeah. let's have a party. OK, well, maybe once Max is in bed. I'm going to celebrate now. Come on, Gary's over there. One drink. But this is meant to be a fresh start now. You take him up. I'll have one drink, then I'll follow you. Come on, what you take me for? One drink? No. It's not fair on Max. We won, we won, we won! You've been to a footy match? Damn the cart. Got me some back. Crack up in the fizzy stuff. Who's buying, like? You. Yeah. Oh, come here. How come you never said that about having a sprog? You're in care. Too painful to talk about. Right, I'll buy. Don't look now, but I think we've been spied on. Who we'll buy? Scary Mary owns the camper van. Don't she know us? No. Nah. Nah. How are you feeling? Fine, thanks. Well, it tells me you're packing your job in. That's right, yeah. Well, don't you think you should discuss it with me first? I thought I'd made my feelings perfectly clear. I have no intention of stopping round here. So you just click your fingers and I'm just meant to jump? You do normally. Look, I know you're upset, very upset. But I just don't think you should do anything drastic. I need a new start. Oh, so the house is on the market, is it? The business? I mean, if you're going to make all decisions, at least keep me informed. I thought you understood how I feel. Of course I do, but in time you might feel different. This is our home. There's the boys to think about. The boys will soon settle in a new school, and you're always saying that shop's an albatross. I get frustrated, yeah, but it don't mean I'm packing up sticks. Well, in that case, we might just have a problem, because I do. <laughs> right. Now we can't have hot dogs in front of the telly every night, but today is a special occasion, isn't it? Because this is your first night in your new home with your mummy and me and Stevie and Auntie Liz and your cousin Amy. Hey, baby. I know it's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, he's here now. We're just uh, grabbing a bit of boy telly before our Amy gets back. Yeah. Hey, listen. Kylie were really good in court, you know. Yeah, she spoke up for herself really well. What? Where is she now? Um. Well, three guesses. Oh, you're not leaving. Um, yeah. Just getting to know each other. You know, I can't really date a soldier. Is it because I'm away all the time doing a highly dangerous job? No, I just... I just don't fancy it. <laughs> Have you been here all this time? Well, if the police won't take my crime seriously, I'll do the job myself. You sound like a vigilante. I've been monitoring those two very carefully. Huh? Bonnie and Clyde over there. I think she's the missing link. Gary's accomplice. Oh. I hope you're not going to let that go to waste. No, I hate fizzy wine. Give me a pint of bitter any day. Shall we uh, go back to yours? What's going on? We're celebrating. And you heard the good news? Shouldn't you be looking after Max? He's bonding with his auntie Becky. Well, he's just got out of foster care. He needs his mum. Yeah, yeah. Why does everyone begrudge me of having a good time? No, Steve's right. Me and Quinny are getting off soon anyway. I'll see you later, though, yeah? Yeah. Well, I heard you put on quite a convincing performance today. Performance? Yeah, convincing everybody that you've mended your ways. That you wanted to be a good mother to Max. Uh, it's true. Well, look, you may have fooled the judge, even Becky. You've not fooled me. Well, thanks for your vote of confidence. Becky's put a lot of faith in you, and I don't want you letting her down. We love me to answer to. Well said. You got a problem? Me? You keep looking over. Where were you last night? Can't remember. Why? What's it to you? Bit of hijinks on the high road, was it, with your girlfriend? That vehicle is my home. What are you talking about? What are you doing, you weirdo? If this hair matches the one I found in my bed. I've told you. I don't know what you're talking about. 
Are you really going to show that to the police? And be derided for wasting police time. <laughs> no chance. The thing is, I know. And he knows. I know. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. It's about you having no manners. Nah. This is about you sticking your nose where you shouldn't. The soldiers, you know. <laughs> no way. The army can't be that desperate. Thanks again. You were brill. I really enjoyed it. Where have you been? As if I can't guess. School. They rang. It's my fault. No, it's not. I chose to go with him. Inside now and you clear off. Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. Come on, Squaddy. What are you waiting for? Hey, come on. Come on, big man. Let's do it. Yeah. Come on. Hey, guys. Can you know me? Oh my god! You've not him unconscious, you idiot! You two scarpa, I'll call an ambulance. Go before anybody sees you! I'm going to contact the police. That's all to me. It's family tiff. All forgotten. How about you stalking my daughter, following her from school to school? Bokeh of Barbed Wire continues next here on ITV1 and ITV1 HD.